today is a very exciting day if you can't tell we're in the kiss fm radio studio with ricky and melvin yes <laughs> hello guys we're about to have a dmc so ricky you've made a couple of documentaries about smoking weed yeah what was the most shocking thing you learned from those about the effects um with regards to young people um it's it's it wasn't so much shocking, but it just made so much sense when I when I actually found out about it. Basically, young people, um, your your body's still developing, mm. so there's loads of chemicals reactions going on in your brain and stuff mm. in your body. So if you then take another chemical, which most drugs are, and put that into a into a pot of a melting pot of chemicals that are kind of like not developed yet, it's going to have an effect, mm. and it's probably going to be a negative effect. So the best thing to do is. Don't do drugs, especially when you're young, because your, your body's not developed yet, so you haven't quite kind of become the person that you're supposed to be. So you don't want to mess that up before you get there. And how does it affect people like in terms of personality and stuff like that? Uh, the one thing that I learned is that drugs, alcohol, it, all, it affects everybody differently because everyone's different. I don't know if you've, you might have seen your parents at a wedding, they might, your uncle might have a drink, he might want to get up and have a dance, oh, yeah. somebody might have a bit of a teary, a teary kind of disposition. Or, it affects that. everybody in, in a different way, but nobody knows how it's going to affect them. So um, it could be a really, really bad effect. It could be a not so bad effect, but it still could be pretty bad. The best way to get around it, we just don't do it. <laughs> That's probably the best way to do it, right? Yeah. Well, about friendships, so have you seen? Um, have you ever seen like a mate of yours kind of change, or or people be torn apart? We were out in Ibiza once, and I got pretty tipsy myself. And if I didn't have someone like Ricky there, my friend Andrew, I might have still been in the club now. <laughs> <laughs> like Rick, literally, I was being carried out by a bouncer, and Ricky was like, wow. he left what he was doing, he stopped dancing, he made a sure girl, Melvin. He I left, had a girl. He left a girl for you. The club. <laughs> And he, he picked me up, he took me home, made sure I had loads of liquid in my in my body, like water and stuff, made mm -hmm. sure I was okay in the morning. And it's, I think it's important to have the right friends around you yep. when you're in situations like yeah. that. Yeah. You've got to have the right people there. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 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 And what, yeah, what advice would you give to someone, um, who a younger person, who's maybe going through a bit of a tough time at school? Yeah, yeah. You know what, I think it's never underestimate the power of your friends and talking to someone like mm. I'm blessed to have people like Ricky and my friends from school and my friends from uni like they're my nucleus friends you know what I mean I could I can count them on my hand on my two hands and I think talking to someone can make you feel so good Ricky has to hear me moaning about things all day long and even if he doesn't want to hear me I still tell him because it will make me feel better and he knows that even if he doesn't really want to hear it he'll still sit and listen to me yeah. and my sister works for the NHS and she works for the uh, mental health clinic and one of the things that they always stress is that it's really important to talk things out do you know what I mean because yeah. if when you when you build up all that tension in, inside you it, sooner or later it's going to crack yeah. and when it cracks it's hammer time mm -hmm. so, and I'm not talking about the song <laughs> you know what I'm saying? my natural my natural reaction to problems is to hold it all in and kind of deal with things myself. I remember there was, well, we used to work together like at another company years ago and Melvin could see that I was upset about something and he was like, don't suffer in silence. That's the worst thing you can do. Just like talk about it. Mm -hmm. And talking about it does really, really help. It's mm -hmm. like therapy mm -hmm. and it gets things off of your chest because you know, like a problem shared is a problem half. So yeah. once you've got it off your chest, it does feel a lot better. So always talk to your friends. If you don't feel like you can talk to your friends, talk to your parents. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's not cool. Um, you know, you could talk to your teacher. If it gets deep, you've got the Samaritans. Do you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, there's They're always total strangers, you, to. you call them up, it's easy. Do you know what I mean? Always someone you can talk to, always. Don't don't keep it all in. Yeah. Don't bother it up. Yeah. Exactly. But so growing up, for advice, I used to go to my older brother. He's eleven years older than me. Right. I know that you have three younger brothers. I do. What is that like? What role did you play? Do you know what? I didn't a lot of people would say that it was it would be quite daunting being the oldest person in a family I didn't really feel any pressure I just remember thinking to myself as long as I don't do anything bad as long as I get like my GCSE my GCSEs and um, I go to college and maybe university that's the best example that I can show them and if they want to follow on and follow suit that's up to them but mm. if they don't you know they don't have to but I just remember thinking set a good example and that's that's what you can do mm. as, a, as, a, as, a, as an older brother mm. what's the hardest thing you've ever had to do and how did you get through it um, I think it might be the same for Ricky, but it's that period um, 
after university where we'd graduated and we were broke and we were trying to find work as presenters mm. and we had done so much we had worked uh, for radio stations as broadcast assistants we had done our own stuff on like MySpace that for our own company we'd done our showreel and we'd been signed to an agency as well and because we had no experience and we were unknown people it was yeah. so hard to become presenters but I think if you've got a goal or a focus yeah. then believe in you because at the end of the day you're the person that's going to be doing it for the rest of your life yeah I think so self-belief is, is massive because I remember thinking to myself everyone that I know that's in a similar situation to me is kind of settled and kind of like you know gone for a job in a unrelated field to what they were studying at university and I was like I don't want to do that I want to just stick to what I stick to my guns and stick to what I want to do so everyone was like yeah, but you got no money and I was like yeah but I want to work in the media so I don't mind working for free I don't mind contacting a million companies and getting a million rejection letters because somebody's gonna say yes so we have this theory: Ant and Deck, mm -hmm. Willa Booby and Scofy, yes, Peanut Butter and Jelly, right? Um, s did I say Sunny and Sweet? Sunny and Sweet. Uh, Mickey and Minnie, right? Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the mouses, the mice. Jimmy and Karina. Uh -huh. nice. Yeah, we yes. like it. Nice. We like yes. it. The thing about a friendship is, when it comes to presenters, is you have to keep it real. Mm. People yeah. can sense if it's not a real friendship, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, whether it's television or radio, and. We're real friends, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and I think just presenting in general, just yeah. just be yourself because that's what everyone wants to yeah. see. They want to see you, so yeah. just do you. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks Thank for you. chatting to us. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Do let us know what you think of this week's DMC or anything else you've seen in the show. We're all ears, as usual. Mm -hmm.